Good morning. Welcome to Corky's Tea Time. What time have we got it here? We have it going on 11.45 a.m. How do I look? Could we get hair and makeup, please? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Been busy this morning. Been busy working, cleaning, taking down kitchen curtains, washing them. You know, you got to do all that stuff to get ready for winter. So... You know, in April we call it spring cleaning, and then the stuff that you don't get done in the spring, you got to work your way through it in the winter. I just wanted to show you what I have bought for myself. Bought myself a little treat. I have a package to open. Can you guess what they are? Can you tell me what they are? Huh? I'll give you a clue. The package says biscuit cutter. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, in some countries it's considered a biscuit. In some countries it's considered a cookie. And we love cookies here. And I've been having a craving for a certain kind of cookie. And I thought these cookie cutters would be perfect because all I have in my containers is Halloween. Thanksgiving and Christmas and I'm like you know what I don't have any springtime type of cookie cutters other than that baby chick up there but I don't want everything to be a baby chick for spring or summer and so I went looking for cookie cutters let's see how do we open these you know sometimes it's like I joke around how they want you to buy the product, but they don't want you to use it, you know. And why do they seal it so well you can't get it open? And I knew I should have had the scissors here. The scissors are over there, too far away to reach. I'm on package, so let's open up. There we go. Okay. And I don't like opening up little cellophane packages anyways. So... This is one of the cookie cutters, little teapot, and it's just the right size. You know how everybody's doing those big designer cookies? No, not me. I don't like those. I like a cookie that will be enjoyable, not a cookie that's a burden. I'll hold it off to the side here so you can see it just right. See it in my hand? It's just the right size for a cookie. I've, they had the ones that were really huge, and I'm like, nobody needs a cookie that big. You can't enjoy it, you know? This way, when they're little, you can say, oh, okay, I can have one, because it's just that size. And so, to me, that is just the right size of a cookie. And then I'll open up this other cookie cutter. And can anybody guess what the second one is? And this is the second one. That package was easy to open. Yeah, little teacup. So we have a teapot and a teacup. Cookie cutters. Just the right size. See how it is in my hand? Just the right size for a cookie. And you know what else is really cool? You can make little sandwiches. Yep. Little tea time sandwiches. So I'll hold up the two to compare them in size. So there they are. And they're on Amazon. They have different sizes. And uh, you know Amazon has everything. And I'm not a big fan of Amazon, but I wanted some nice cookie cutters, something different. You know, like I said, all I have is Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. So those were really nice. And just to show you one more time, you know, so you can see the size that they are. They're just the right size of a cookie to hold in your hand. Just the right, and this here is just a nice little size for little kids. Some of the reviews weren't so good. One lady said she was disappointed in the size of them and she thought they were toys, so she gave them to her kids. I'm like, no, this is just the right size of a cookie. You know, that would be cute to cut out biscuits for breakfast, too. So, they're a three-fold use, you know. And then, 
So as long as we're sitting here talking about kitchen stuff, I wanted to share with you some things that I've had for years. And it's all a part of the housekeeping and cleaning and taking stuff down and washing them. This here is one of my favorite jello molds. I just love these little things. And I don't know if many people know this, but right on the side of the jello molds, it will tell you how many cups it is. This one here is four cups. So that will give you an indication of how much you need in product and how many people it would serve. You know, so four cups for this one. This is what the inside looks like. And the thing is, it's nice because it has that little hook. So you can hang them up. Because you know with these thin little things, if you put them in the cover, they're going to get squished and bent and deformed. So, and that is one of my favorites. Reminds me of when my mom would make these. And then there's this one here. And I'll see where it says here. It says three and a half cups. And this one is shaped like this. Three and a half cups. <clears throat> and it's shaped like that. What these are made from, I do not know. All I know is I've heard two things. If you make a jello in these, spray a little Pam to help the jello slide out. Some people now, if you like, watch Emma on her YouTube channel. She she made one. She used one of these molds. And she soaked the bottom of it in a little bit of hot water for just a few seconds to try and help loosen it up. Now this little one here says two and a half cups. This is just a little mold. And it's so cute. Just a little two and a half cup mold. It's so cute. My mother used to make so many jello desserts. All different colors and different ways. And very busy lady she was. And then we have the rooster. The good old rooster. And I believe that his is down here at the bottom. And his says three and a half cups. He is a three and a half cup mold. The rooster. Isn't he nice looking? I could see red and green jellos in there. Um, how many of you have the lobster? I've looked all over for the lobster. Yeah, it's not easy to get. And I will show you my other two over here. And one of these, these two are the top line of my most favorites. My most, most favorites ever. If I had to give them all away and only could keep two, I would love to keep these two. And this one here is the heart, and there is no marking for what size or how many cups it is. And it's this little heart. It's not very big. Not too big. It's just a little heart. And, uh, I don't know. It's no, nowhere is it marked, not by the hook. Not by the bottom or anything, but that's the inside, and here's the little hook right there, there's the inside, and then this one here, this one here reminds me of my mother the most ever, and we have the hook here, and I'm looking to see how much, how many cups it is, this one too is also three and a half cups. And my mother made this a lot, a whole lot. Can you see where she would put cherries? Yeah, that was a really nice one that she would do. Well, I'd like to thank you for stopping by Corky's Tea Time. I hope you all are having a great day. And if I get to making any cookies, I will let you know. All right, or jellos, or jellos. Let's not forget jellos. I, who doesn't love jello? I love jello. Jello's good for you. That's why it's on your hospital tray. All righty, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye bye.